It's no use working to establish a brand if you pay no attention to the aftermarket. Here, Smart have been equally innovative. The Smart Dealer Network established this concept of you tell us what you want us to make and we'll do it, but really also to develop a much deeper understanding of what really are the buying decisions that our customers make. And as we offer them 20 colors, do they always go for the three that we would normally offer or are they really interested in the one or two odd colors that we never thought of offering? Smarts are serviced only through the network of smart centers, a process which includes regular computer diagnostic tests, the results of which are fed back to the smart headquarters. Today's vehicle logbook is electronic. They take the electronic things, so like the gearbox or if the, how the engine runs or all the electrician things. And so they, will, they can check it. There is a 32 bytes a, a computer in the car and you register everything like nearly like a black box in a, in a race car because you can see if you, if you put too much, too much uh, throttle or too less or if you use something wrong. So that is really good made, yeah, like in the computer age. Yeah. The first date in the car's electronic logbook is entered as it leaves the factory. Smart has now begun to establish itself in right-hand drive markets, like the UK and Japan. It's a long way in a short time from Hayek's initial concept in 1994. He characterized what came to be the smart the same way as Swatch. High quality, low cost, provocation, joy of life. We want everybody to be able to buy this car. What's particularly interesting about smart is that they have brought to life uh, multiple aspects that we were previously dreaming of. What it combines is the skills and the traditions and the brand values of two exciting organizations, Swatch and Mercedes. It brings the best of both those organizations together to create what I believe could be a very, very uh, potent product. It's a great example of actively putting the customer in control. Very smart in leveraging product design um, across the various players um, into the market. Um, by offering customizability, rapid uh, assembly, quick distribution. Uh, so many, many interesting things come together in a real life setting. So one might say that we're now seeing a lot of the things that we've been talking about and dreaming about coming into real life, not meaning to say that it's the best possible dream one might have though. <laughs>